What's going on guys? My name's Tide and today I'm going to be talking about Postscriptum. Postscriptum is a first person simulation shooter that provides the authentic World War II combat experience. Focusing on historical accuracy, large scale battles, a difficult learning curve, and an intense need for cohesion, communication, and teamwork. Postscriptum isn't like any other shooter, it's more towards Arma or Red Orchestra or Squad for a really good example. This is the same publisher as Squad and I'm assuming it's the same engine run from Squad, just reskinned and World War II based. Do keep in mind Postscriptum is currently in beta. If you're coming from Squad, you would feel right at home. It is a little bit more difficult because there are no sights in this game except for the sniper scope, which gives you a really bad tunnel vision while using. Postscriptum requires the exact same thing that Squad does. Massive amounts of communication, organization, and cohesion between you and your teammates, and team in general. You talk to your squad lead, your squad lead talks to other squad leads, and you guys get things done. One of these blocks removed out of the situation, for example, let's say Squad 3 isn't doing what Squad 3 is supposed to do or is unable to do, that individual piece could potentially set your whole team back or even lose you the game. For example, if you were to go set up a FOB and they are unable to do so, then in that case it would make it very difficult for your team to actually spawn in general because spawning isn't just like spawning on your teammates. You actually have to have rally points, which you have to have your teammates by you to plant down and other things like that. Like I said, this game is in beta, and I had reasonable expectations for it because it was run basically off of Squad, and I do really like Squad. I put about five, 600 hours into it, and I was a fan from the beginning, and I still am. Postscriptum, I will put a hinder in the time that I spent on Squad because I did have a quite a bit of fun with this game, putting 40, 50 hours into it and playing a, quite a few different games and all five four maps I think it, I think they currently have four maps but they said that they're gonna be releasing two more I think it was two or three that are like huge because I think these are like four by 4k and the ones that they'll be releasing are gonna be like eight by 8k which <laughs> holy shit that's just huge compared to many other games I mean there are some open world games that easily match up to that for but for it to be a first-person shooter and not be planet side 2 that is that is pretty big in my opinion but during the day the graphics do look half decent I do have to say for a beta at least and from the squad area because a lot of the maps and stuff in squad are usually deserty and stuff so they do have to rework a lot of it I am running everything on ultra I think that I think they called it epic in this game but yeah everything's running on epic except for cinematic which is one of the higher things than epic that they had for the effects didn't really see the need for that didn't really want it just wanted to play it on high but as some areas you can clearly tell where they put in a lot of work to make the graphics look pretty good my opinion about postscriptum is that it has a lot of the same qualities as squad and given it that there is a difference between squad and postscriptum and especially the weapons which is probably the hugest and the environment that you're fighting in is probably one of the biggest ones in massive tunnel vision <laughs> massive tunnel vision which is pros which is a pro and a con I don't really care for it too much but it's something that they implemented in the game that wasn't that bad but if I was to have to rate this game I would rate this game one army ration chocolate over a one M one grand let me know what you guys think about Postscriptum down in the comments section. And if you guys haven't seen my squad videos, they will be up there. And, and if you guys want to see more, subscribe.